lowering, but with most thunderstorms, we do see uh, a lowering. That's nothing to be scared about. It's when that lowering starts to get closer to the ground and starts to rotate is when we start to be concerned because that's evidence of some strong circulation. Whoa. The development of a tornado. But looking back here, there's nothing uh, that would say to me that this Whoa. is going to produce a tornado uh, in a short term period the next few minutes. But that model car that we saw earlier did wrap up quite quickly. But as you've been mentioning, uh, I think the main threat from this storm immediately is going to be very large hail over the size of golf balls and perhaps tennis balls or baseballs that you've been speaking about earlier with that monster storm uh, that's back towards Jinx. So we're watching this very closely here, Shoto. Uh, you're showing that on more live radar. There is a bit of a hook with that. And, uh, most thunderstorms, uh, supercell thunderstorms, do produce hooks. That's just a sign of rotation. It's again, when that starts to really tighten up into a violent rotation and lower at the same time, is when a, a tornado could be imminent. All right. Nick, thank you. I appreciate the report there. Uh, let's go back to Dick Crow for a minute. Hey, Dick, uh, to give us a lowdown on that storm once more, would you please? We have, uh, do have a track on the, the one that Nick was just talking about. So have a, and as I pointed out earlier, it looks like the storm is probably taking a little more of a northerly. Well, it's going to be passing just north of Shoto. Uh, so we've uh, refined the track a little bit, uh, moving in an east-northeast direction at about 40 miles an hour. That does bring it near 